trick or treat. These high-end licorice candies are from Denmark and pack an unexpected punch, as our Connor Knighton discovered. Wander the aisles of any Scandinavian supermarket, and you will find them loaded with licorice. There's licorice sticks, licorice cats, licorice pandas, licorice fish. Sold in all licorice shapes unicorns. and sizes. If you're feeling creative, you can make your own mix of skulls and coils, black and salty. Licorice, especially salty licorice, is a favorite Scandinavian treat. But when I sat down to eat some, it felt more like I had been tricked. Ooh! Nope. Ooh! I don't like it. Ah. So why make it so salty? It's just bad. Licorice is made from the licorice root, Glyceriza glabra. The Twizzlers and red vines that we Americans sometimes call licorice don't actually contain any licorice at all. Licorice is sweet, licorice is salty. The salty stuff is really important to the Scandinavian people and it's really, really strange to foreigners. Johan Bulo is the founder of Lactris, a licorice company based in a black fortress on the outskirts of Copenhagen, Denmark. Lacris is the Danish word for licorice. Like the second you step in this building, it smells like licorice. Definitely. I've been driving around with the smell of licorice for 11 years now. Um. <laughs> 11 years ago, Bulo opened his very first store in the seaside town of Svaniki. He was born on Bornholm, a small picturesque Danish island in the Baltic Sea. This is paradise on earth when it's summer and it's like this. This is super amazing. Bornholm is the sunniest place in all of Denmark. And the crowds of tourists passing through gave Bulo a chance to try out his licorice creations. Uh, the idea was actually to create a recipe or two and then just be in front of the actual consumer and to sample them and to look in their eyes and see what do they like. Are they smiling? Are they throwing up? What he found was that he could get international visitors to try his product if he mixed the licorice taste with flavors they were more familiar with. Okay, and so what flavor is this? This is wild blueberry. At the factory back in Copenhagen, Lacris now produces licorice coated in various flavors of chocolate. Oh, see, this is more for me. Yeah, I think yeah. you've got to hide it mm -hmm. in something else to make me like it. There's also licorice mixed with habanero chilies. There's a caramelized, organic, slow-cooked licorice for connoisseurs. There are licorice syrups and sprinkles to mix in with other dishes. And you won't find any of this in the grocery store. Lacris has marketed and packaged itself as a luxury good, sold in small boutiques. When we have guests over or family parties or anything, we got like the good licorice. Ah, and not the just, high end, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when Danes like Patrick Nielsen buy Lacris, it's a special treat. At stores in the Copenhagen airport and the Tivoli amusement park, Danish employees try to convince curious tourists to sample a taste they've grown up with. Do you feel like you're on a mission yeah, to convince them? Yeah, I them? do. Yeah, I do. It's, then you have to try this one. For example, you have a salted caramel. It's a flavor everybody likes. Lacris just opened two stores in Dubai and is now sold at Chelsea Market in New York City. But it all began back on Bornholm. I call it the Vatican of licorice because it's where everything started. Technical director Tay Cusk has worked with Bulo since the beginning, helping develop new recipes. The packaging and the presentation are important, but licorice is still at the root of everything. If you give us the time, we can make the whole world love uh, licorice. 